The airport section works directly with the fixed rates and zone pricing, and it's also where your airport instructions will be stored. To start, we'll click on the My Office button. Next, we'll go to the Company Resources tab, and then we'll select the Airports button to the left. If you don't see any airports listed in this box here, be sure to click the Show All button. All the airports listed in red are considered inactive in our system. So to activate them, we'll find the airport that we service, click on the airport label, and then select the Edit Airport button below. The airport information should populate to the right. We'll go and change the status dropdown from inactive to active and then save our changes. It's that easy to activate an airport. If you have special instructions you would like your client to see on your confirmations, you can add the instructions here. For this example, I'll select the default checkbox and then I'll add a short title label. Next, I'll add the full instructions in the instruction field such as, for inside pickups, meet the driver at the bottom of the escalator. For curbside pickups, call the driver's phone number from the text message that you will receive on the day of the trip, as soon as you exit the plane. This should give the driver enough time to meet you at the curb without having you wait. I added these stars on my sentences to help draw the client's attention to the notes to make it a little easier for them to follow on my confirmation email. After adding my instructions, I'll click the Add button below to save them in the Stored Pickup Instructions box. I'll show you how to activate another airport and store some instructions before I end this video.